Good morning ladies and gentlemen, Our dog here, welcome to the hunt. Uh, today I'm going to do a park that I do quite a bit, but we're going to change it up a little and we're going to do all the curb strips. I'm going to follow the path all the way through this park, little hundred year old ring action in the middle there, wind all the way around back to Nicki Minaj right there, see what we can get out of here. And if we don't get enough for a video, I'm going to get into the uh, oldest part of the city and do a few cur curb strips in there. See what we can find. On to the hunt. All right, well, we have some clad so far. And it looks like we got our first piece of jewelry. Okay, that's an earring. Oh, wow. Got three gems. This looks well made. This looks really well made. I'm gonna guess we might have found some silver here or maybe some white gold. Check it out in the wrap up. It's an awesome find. Just clad, uh, maybe two or three dollars in clad so far. Let's keep going. Always with the vapes. Pineapple. Ah, what do you know? Our dog treasure hunter at your service just pop the plug here i'm in the field moved over to the field these guys just barely rang up on the knox um, the more rusted out they get the worse they hit on the equinox but we found it three quarters another vape no flavor on this one this one looks more expensive. I don't know. American Dime, ringing up so nice. Rosy. All right, ladies and gents. Um, 19, I think it was. Got a little ring. Uh, it's pretty light. I think it's just going to be a blinger. Looked really good coming out like that. I was like, okay, now we're on to something, but it's all right. It's a ring. Let's keep going. True North, strong and free. Little pendant here, ringing up a 19 MK. That's uh, Michael Coors. We'll check that for silver. We got some kind of uh, foreign coin, I think. Maybe a token. Check that out in the wrap up. That looks uh, interesting. I don't think I've dug one that shape before. Sweet. Let's keep going. Two bucks. All right, we got another one. I actually like this one better. This one is a. Uh, Maple leaf. Keep going. Another little mini coin spill here. A couple quarters stuck together. All right, I am back. It is the following day. And uh, I ran out of daylight yesterday. There's a fine line between uh, frozen ground and uh, running out of daylight. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, jewelry. It kind of looks like one of those things that uh, chain that attaches your sink plug to something or whatever, or your boat plug. I don't know. We'll check it out. 
Beautiful day today. I got an early start. Ground's a bit frozen, but uh, it'll soften up as I go. Let's keep going. All right, I think we got something interesting. Little ring. All right, it's got some weight to it. Probably had gems in the middle there. We got something else in the same hole here. Let's just put this in here. Shut up. Two in the same frickin' hole. All right, this one looks a little more promising. No, I don't really know. Well, let's just check, you never know. Okay, fix this montagery up. Let's check out what this one rings up. I like the looks of this one. Yeah, it's not really good. It's a 21. All right, well, we'll check it out. Let's keep going. All right, ladies and gents, interesting uh, chain of events here. So I'm uh, doing behind this bench because if you don't know by now, I'm in love with uh, benches. There's always something behind them. So anyway, um, saw this pull tab, scanned the, uh, hit it with my detector. Figured, well, it's sitting right there and the garbage can is literally right freaking there. So I throw that. But as I bend down to see the pull tab, if you guys can see that, I'll pick it up. In the crack is a chain. It's got a knot in it. That is tiny. Sorry, you guys got no sun. I know, I'm terrible. There we go. That is so tiny. I'd be willing to, yeah, it's broken here too. I'd be willing to bet this might be, uh, it's got something written on there. I'd say maybe silver or white gold. Let's see if they uh, put it here. Not all bunched up, but kind of. Because I don't think they usually flat, uh, fall completely straight. Let's just check it out and see what she does. Nothing. Let's crank up the uh, sensitivity. Nothing. All right. It's a good thing I caught it with my eye, I guess, eh? Right on. Holy cow, that is so tiny. All right, I'll put it in a good pouch. We'll keep going. Thirty on the surface here. I know, I'm curious. Big old brass nut. Put her in the scrap metal. Yeah, I enjoy it. Profitable too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Great day in this. We just got a very old penny. 43, I think that says. Awesome. Let's keep going. You guys can't see, can you? Big old bling ring. Okay. I'd be willing to bet that's bling. Let's keep going. 
Such a nice day today. Thought I'd give you a little panoramic. Gorgeous. It's cold. It's uh, just above freezing. But it is pretty. All right, let's get back to the hunt. One quarter, we're almost done here. I'm gonna cut it short today. I just wanted to top up this video. Get back to you if we see any, catch anything on the way home. All right, ladies and gents, welcome to the wrap up. Uh, that was about six hours, so uh, four hours yesterday, two hours today. I think we did pretty good. It's a hunt, well hunted park, but um, you know, you get around uh, the weird spots and uh, it turns out pretty good. So we got, uh, Almost, I think over a little over fifteen dollars in clad. Pretty good. Uh, I'm really starting to figure out the Equinox with the Canadian clad. You just have to be going slow, and uh, it's a broken tone, but um, yeah, it it does work if you're going slow and you're paying attention. And sensitivity high up also helps. Um, so yeah, fifteen bucks, some pennies, uh, some weird little things. That little chain, I don't know what that's off, but I don't think it's jewelry. And uh, this pendant here, or sorry, earring, um, it has a lot of weight to it. I thought this was going to turn out to be silver. Uh, it looks quite old as well. But um, yeah, it's, pr it's uh, pretty nice. Black stones in there, onyx, I guess, something like that. But uh, it's not silver, so uh, it's silver plated. Uh, that weird one there, I guess, is an earring. It kind of looks like a fishing lure to me, but um, maybe a homemade earring. I'm going to go with that. Uh, little Michael Coors. I have found uh, lots of Michael Kors stuff. They make really good high-end clothing, but um, not so much on the jewelry. I don't think I've gotten any precious metals out of out of the Michael Kors stuff yet. Two Canadian pins, awesome. Uh, what else we got? We got some import coins. We got a 10 cent American and two pence, and I'm not gonna pretend to know anything about pence. So um, yeah, fill me in. Uh, head stamp, 12 gauge, awesome. And little pieces of jewelry. I don't know what that was off. We got the little R. That's pretty cool. Uh, four rings. Unfortunately, all blingers. Um, you can see they're pretty tore up by the ground. This one's mission, missing a bunch of stones. Um, yeah, they're not. Uh, they're bling. Uh, three old pennies. We got two Young Liz pennies. And we got a King George VI penny from 1944. So that's awesome. And the hero of the day was actually not found with a metal detector, technically. Uh, I was bending down to pick up a pull tab and, and saw it under the under the bench, but it is 10K. Super tiny. Knox wouldn't hit it at all. So um, but I don't think uh, I don't think a chain can get any finer than that. It is just paper thin. But yeah, 10K, good to get some gold. So that is the hunt. Thank you all so much for joining me. See you on the next one.